This should help reduce lag. This should help reduce errors. Most importantly, this should help reduce those burn marks on your thighs that you get during rendering. It's 2022. We're all looking to reduce the stress in our lives, and that includes your computer. So today I'm going to share with you five tips on how you can get a little bit more out of Premiere by putting a little less stress on your computer. Hey friends, my name is Avery. I release weekly videos all about growing your presence online with video. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing for more content just like this. Now, before we jump into Premiere, I'm going to go ahead and throw a freebie at you. You don't even have to have Premiere open to fix this just close everything else. I know it goes without saying, but if you have any other Adobe applications, it is gonna be pretty taxing on your computer, especially with Premiere in tandem. Also any other memory hog applications like Google Chrome, for example, definitely gonna to wanna to go ahead and close those out just to maximize any performance that you have while you have Premiere open. Basically, unless you absolutely have to have something else open, just close everything other than Premiere, okay? Okay, okay so for starters, you're gonna to want to go ahead and enable GPU acceleration. If you are on Apple Silicon, this is gonna be enabled by default. You can actually turn it off, but if you're on a PC or if you're on an older Intel version of a Mac, then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and enable this if you have that option. To enable it, you're gonna go up here to File, Project Settings, General. Then under the Video Rendering and Playback section, you will go ahead and select your render as whatever has GPU acceleration. Most of the time, this is gonna be enabled by default, but it's a good thing to check because it can really give you a performance boost and potentially keep you from having to go through the other steps that we're gonna talk about. Okay, tip number two, just like how Google and Facebook save all of your browsing data so that way they can send you creepy ads, Premiere actually saves a cache of their own with things like your clipboard data from pasting and some temporary files and things like that, just to make it go smoother. Only problem with that is by default, it's set to never delete this. So those cached files can actually get pretty beefy and slow down your overall performance. So to take a look at these cached files, clean them up and then adjust the settings for future use, we're going to go up here to Premiere Pro, Preferences, and then down to Media Cache. And then here you can change where it's saved to. So if you did want to save those to like an SSD as opposed to a hard drive, that will definitely give you a speed boost as well as also just going down here Mine by default was set to do not delete cache files automatically, which I think is ridiculous. Um, and then the second option, automatically delete cache files older than the default being 90 days. I have it set to 30 days. Typically I'm not working on a single project for longer than a month. Um, so usually 30 days is totally fine. So if you're working on like TikToks or something like that, where you have a really quick turnaround, like days, uh, you can set it to like three days or seven days or something along those lines really just whatever works best for your workflow. The third tip is gonna be adjusting your playback resolution. So on your program monitor, you'll see in the bottom right section, it'll say full, and it's actually a drop down menu that gives you fractions. So like one half, one quarter, one eighth, and so forth. These are actually your resolution scaling options. And so if you are getting lag in your playback window, you can actually go down here and adjust that playback resolution. Uh, most of the time I'll just drop it to like a quarter and see how that goes and then bring it up or down if I need to. Adjusting your playback resolution can be really handy whenever you're trying to smooth out like specific cuts or transitions or something like that where you don't really need the full resolution to see like all the details. You just need to see sort of how it lines up and moves from one clip to another. So the fourth tip is global effects mute. Okay, so you might've noticed that I went ahead and applied a very tasteful color grade and some effects to our footage. Obviously when you're color grading, adjusting speed, doing speed ramps, adding more effects, things like that, every little thing that you add on top of your footage is gonna slow down your performance. So we do have a tool within Premiere Pro called global effects mute, which basically turns off all the color grades turns off all like warp stabilizers, speed effects, anything like that. It just mutes all of it. So it doesn't delete it. It just temporarily removes it. It's going to show up down here on your program monitor by like all the play, fast forward, rewind buttons. Um, if you don't see it, we're just going to go over here and click the plus button to customize this toolbar. And you're going to go over here and find the FX button. And then you can just drag it straight onto that toolbar wherever you want it. And then you'll have that for future use. You'll see here we have the effects activated and then we'll just click this button you'll see here that it goes ahead and removes the color grade as well as any effects that we had on it so tip number five is getting pretty granular within your settings so i'm gonna go ahead and jump in and kind of show you a couple of these extra tweaks that you can make overall these aren't going to make near as big of a difference as the first four will but still thought it'd be worth including in this video okay so for starters here on tip number five we're going to go ahead and make sure that rendering is optimized for performance not for memory and then here okay Disabling autosave will give you a little boost in performance. However, we all know how Premiere is. I would not recommend 
disabling autosave. You could, you would get a little performance boost out of it, but at your own risk, I do not recommend disabling autosave. Okay. You can also go in here and disable mercury transmit. If you're using an external monitor, you'll want to keep this on. That's kind of what that helps manage. But if you're just using your laptop with a native screen, then you can go ahead and disable this and you'll get a little boost that way. Lastly, for tip number five, you can disable auto refresh or growing files and that will help you a little bit as well. Like I said, all these adjustments within tip number five are pretty granular really don't make a huge difference that you'll see in the first four, but still give them a shot if you're not getting the results that you want so far. Now, before you comment, asking me like, what about proxies? Okay, I do think that proxies are a fantastic way to speed up your workflow, especially whenever you're working with some larger files that maybe your computer isn't really equipped to handle. However, proxies are a much more involved addition to your workflow. So I think that these five tips are worth checking before you result to that. However, I am doing a full video about proxies. So if you wanna watch that, Click here, otherwise I'll see you in the next video.